What's up guys? So, you know me, long day work. Had to throw out a video for you guys. Got a, had a couple people ask me about the, uh, the Milwaukee Stubbies to do a review on them. And you know, I, I've been meaning to do it, but the more time the better. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do you know five, six month review. I wanted to make sure I put these things through the ringer. You know, got them hot, got them cold, ran them dead, ran them full charge. You guys seen it, I've been using them in my videos, doing these motor jobs and rebuilds and working on these cars and all that stuff. But I'm gonna give you my pros and cons on them, give you the news on them, also some great news at the end about them. So stick with me, check it out after this. Alright guys, step into my office because we're about to review these bad boys. I got them all out here. As you can see, from the looks of them, you can see the one I use the most. So that's going to answer a couple of my subs questions on which one to buy if you're torn. Um, and then these two, don't, don't let them fool you, them being clean. You guys know me. I wipe these suckers down every time after I use them, if not the next morning. So. You know, I don't like uh, having dirty tools with grease falling off of it and all discolored. Some guys' tools are, I know they could handle it, but I personally just like clean tools, clean toolbox, organized. You guys know how I am. But running through these things, obviously the hex bit is a stubby. You know, I got this, I had this before any of them, but it's the same body. Like you guys seen in my unboxing, you know, they have the same body. So, you know, the hex bit. It's probably more geared toward uh, you know carpers and stuff like that, not like how Milwaukee made these, more geared towards mechanics and people in the you know mechanical field and all that stuff, technicians alike. But uh, the hex bits, probably the least one I used. Well, probably the quarter inch is probably the least one I've used. But uh, it's been great. It's been holding up. A couple of gripes I have about the battery. Um, the Milwaukee batteries not so much. But I've actually tried these uh, Vannon batteries and uh, not impressed with them. I know some guys out there did like them. They are a cheaper alternative to the Milwaukee batteries. But if you're anything like me, just spend a couple extra bucks and get the Milwaukee battery. These things I've actually had issue with them uh, running hot, um, you know, not holding a charge, not going as long as like per se the 4 amp hour batteries that I, that I got. I run all the same batteries, the 4 hour ones. So not too bulky, but uh, these ones, not so much. This one's the, one of the newer ones, but I even have it to where it, it falls out a little bit when you're using it and it uh, loses connection. You gotta kinda push down on it to get it to connect again. And that one, look, I haven't, I charged that one probably a couple weeks ago and it's just been sitting and you can see it's half charged. So they self drain too. So at least the ones I've had, the experience I've had maybe differ for other people. So, but the 3 8 is by far one of my favorites. I mean, to go through all the specs with you guys again, obviously it's got, the, it's got the battery gauge on there. I pulled off the clip, but it comes with a clip you could put on either side. Um, I ripped that sucker off so it doesn't get hooked. You know, when I'm trying to get it down into a car, into a tight area, you know, that just makes it thicker It hanging out and I'm not walking around with this thing on my belt loop. So, but these ones are about the same. Same body style. This one I think comes in at about 4.8 inches. Um, the half I think is just a hair more because of the half inch anvil. They also have the uh, the silicone protector you could buy for these things. Um, I personally don't like them. That just makes them a little bit bigger. Um, going back to why I took that clip off. You know, the smaller the better on these things. But yeah, they've been holding up great. But I'm gonna set it up on a tripod so I can use both my hands here. All right, guys. So, my first impressions on these things were, you know, I definitely thought they were awesome. You know, Milwaukee really, uh, really hooked us up coming out with these and the way they're made and the power they put out. You know, 250 uh, nut busting torque they say on the box. This uh, 
the settings in here obviously changes the RPM. It's got the uh, torque to yield setting on there, so it's not going to over torque anything. It senses any kind of the chip in there. It senses any kind of torque in there, and it cuts it back. Obviously for those uh, torque sensitive bolts, so I'll use that setting just to run down bolts, and then I'll go back and retorque with a torque wrench or whatever. Um, great setting. One obviously I don't use too much. Two uh, I don't really use too much unless obviously not on this one. This one's pretty much three in the one setting. Um, uh, three is obviously the main main setting. And then this one I use to just zip down bolts and do a retorque on it because in reverse it still has full power. Full power in all the settings and then it, when you tighten it it just has lower RPM. The half inch has been uh, obviously pretty decent. It's held up. I've dropped these suckers a few times. Um, picked them up. They work no problem. But the uh, half inch, let's see, that's the one I have the most problem with the this aftermarket battery and this is one of the newer ones I got but when it when it would when it would be hitting it's like the battery would lose connection and uh, the gauge would start flashing I don't know if you guys have seen that or ran into that issue before but that's the issue I have with these batteries so I know my personal try to avoid these batteries I also notice on the one it's it's kind of swollen it's like the battery swollen. It gets pretty cold here in the shop, so I don't know if it can handle the elements. But the 3 8 by far my personal favorite. I don't like the uh, the directional. They probably could have moved that up a little bit because when you're when you're going to uh, take off a fastener, you know you get it you get it torquing and, and you get the momentum. Your finger wants to kind of hit it. And I actually mentioned that in the unboxing. I could tell that right away. I like to choke up real high on it when I'm holding it. Um, to get more control in it and you can see your finger you know it hits it so you figure while it's impacting you know it'll lock the trigger on you or start going the other way if you push it in enough so I mean that's my only gripe on that the handle I like the bigger handle I like the rubberized grip on it the backs rubberized um, I'm sure most of you guys out there pick these up or at least saw one in Home Depot or whatever and uh, maybe maybe you haven't got one yet maybe you have but uh, I mean, leave down in the comments the issue you guys have been having with them because, for the most part, these things—the brushless design, the battery, the battery designs you got—you put the smaller battery in it, or even they got the five and six amp hour batteries. I mean, you got choices here. They got the rapid chargers. You can charge these up on the fly, half hour. I think you can charge these batteries back up. So, and then you got the quarter inch. Um, not really too much torque on this one, but same basic design. You got the rubber bumper on there. You got, I think they do make a plastic uh, case on this one. I'll leave the uh, silicone case part numbers down in the descriptions. If you guys are wondering where to get them, obviously got the light in the front. But um, this one, like I said, I probably use the least, but still a great design. I mean, they even got down to the rubberized front. They should probably have did that with these too. Maybe put a rubberized front on it because you can see I got it all scratched up. You know, getting it down in there. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. You can see. But I use the heck out of this one. I really do. These bad boys definitely been holding up for me. I really, other than the battery issue, the little directional, the only two gripes I really have with them. Um, Milwaukee really hit a home run with these guys. And I'm sure you've seen other YouTubers review these things. But like I said, guys, I wanted to put these things through the ringer, make sure they held up, make sure they you know, could withstand everyday use and all that stuff. You know, obviously comparing it to a, the 14.4 Snap-on, you know, the 3.8, I definitely like the design of that one. I like the trigger, you know, that dual trigger better. Um, you know, if, uh, if Snap-on could come out with something, you know, a stubby design like this or something with as much torque as this one, you know, obviously I'd use that mostly or vice versa. If they came out with a, that dual trigger, you know, it'd be game over. I still love them both, Snap-on 14.4 and this Milwaukee stubby line. I can't complain. I mean, it's uh, they're they're great little impacts. So I'll leave uh, I'll leave the part numbers to all these down in the description. But I dig them. I really dig them. For my uh, my half year review, I definitely say if you guys are thinking about getting them or in the market on which one to get, I'd probably consider you know what between these two, I'd probably consider what more sockets you use or what what size you use more to use half inch or to use three eighths more and then just go off that because like I said they're basically identical with 
with just different anvils on them, and I'm pretty sure you could probably change them out. You know, if you had a 3 8 and the anvil broke or something like that, I don't know if Milwaukee sells parts to it, but you could probably just take the front and put it right on there. But that's my six month review on these things. Like I said, guys, I, a lot of people are asking me to do a review on these. I had to, uh, I wanted to wait it out. Like I said, I wanted to put them through the ringer and make sure they pass the JRC 54 test. You guys know, I mean, I'll vouch for them. Just, I mean, look out on what kind of batteries you use. You know, try to stay genuine Milwaukee batteries. I mean, I, coming from the biggest Snap-on guy, I own probably the whole 14.4 line. I find myself grabbing these stubbies more than just about anything but that's probably why too I don't mind these getting wet I don't mind dropping them I mean Milwaukee five-year warranty I think it's three year on the battery I mean what more can you guys ask for you know the price point the warranty it's great so you guys out there thinking about which one to get definitely gonna be the three eights for all these tool heads you guys sign up for my crate service the golden wrench I'm sure you guys heard about the tool heads great you guys have it websites here Sign up there. First March giveaway for the Golden Wrench is actually going to be the 3 8 Milwaukee Stubby, a bag, a battery, and a charger for the first lucky winner. So you guys, uh, you guys want to win one? Make sure you sign up. This is what you'll be getting. Couldn't hold the news in anymore. Obviously, you guys know the value of this. Things probably value over 200 bucks, but. We'll be giving that away for the first uh, Golden Wrench winner of March. So if you guys haven't signed up for the tool crate, make sure you guys get in. Got to love them tools. Got to love them tool heads. So that's that, guys. My review, the quick great news on having that winning feeling on the Tool Heads crate service. Make sure you guys go to toolheadscrate.com, sign up for the tool crate service, get in a chance to win this 3.8 stubby, the bag, everything. It's going to be a first giveaway. I, uh, I'll be jealous for the first winner, even though I have one. Be, I'll, but I'll be sending this to uh, Toolheads headquarters. It'll be wrapped up, send it off to the first winner of that Golden Wrench. So as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit up toolheadscrate.com. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.